Previously on Subnautica. I hatched a plan to rescue the sea moth from its vegetative state aboard the Altera Sea Voyager. It didn't work out. Continuing on with the MLG level gameplay, I overshot Life Pod 7 and ended up in a Thalassophobian's worst nightmare. But I eventually found what I was looking for. I always do. Usually. I crafted Seamoth Mark II and then found the perfect place to lay my head before venturing out in search of a new lead in the case. And you know, I'm sure things won't go horribly wrong. This is Lutz Magoots. Our adventure awaits. Oh, it's a ghost leviathan? I didn't even do anything. Oh, it's gone. Oh, man. Okay, void bubbles. That's what those are. I want to scan one. Also got to keep an eye on my oxygen. Ah, they're so fast. I got one. Void bubbles. Okay, I'll have to read that one, but... Avoid if possible, cut free to maintain vehicular control. Wait, what is that? Cut free? Whoa. Got brown over here. Of course, now I associate brown water with uh, the Reaper area. I don't know if that's true in this case or not, but I'm not very far to the southeast. The water just got real brown. We'll have to try that out sometime. I wonder if I can use a laser cutter over here. Or maybe just open a door? <laughs> Ooh, a modification station. Wait. This is something I need, isn't it? I need one more of those. Oh, do you... Do you think that we would get fortunate enough that there'd be one here? That would be wild. Maybe behind this? Oh, no way! 30 seconds. I feel so dumb. New blueprint acquired. I feel so dumb, my friends. I guess now we know what we gotta do. Let's head back to home sweet home. Find out what we gotta do to make a mod station. 70, uh, seriously, within 70 meters from home sweet home and I never checked it out. Computer chip, titanium, diamond, and lead. I don't think I have any- I don't have any diamond. Diamond is in shale. I wonder if we'd be able to find any shale over here. Spotted dock leaf. That's a nice looking plant. Ooh, that is an ampule stuck in this cave. Is this the time to scan? Ooh, man. They're kind of angry looking. Oh, <laughs> look at his face. I guess you'd be pretty pissed off if you got stuck in this cave forever, too. Okay, now the question is, can I swim by them? There's more to explore in this cave. Oh, and there's actually shale right there. I'm sure they'll let me sneak past. Ouch! Ouch! I do kind of a lot of damage. But you know, I do have medkit fabricators that make me medkits all the time. You could probably just... You can just heal up and go right on by him, I bet. This turd, man. Uh, he was hurting me from so far away. <laughs> I lose any? I don't know if I even dropped anything. Um, I died right over here. You know, this could actually be a good thing. Because now I have full health. Do I still have boomerang, boomerang? I do. 
Okay, uh, speaking of, you're not supposed to be here. It's still alive. There might be limits to Boomerang Boomerang's powers. Oh, it moved. Wait, is it dying? It might actually be dead. Nope, it's not dead. It's not dead. Can confirm. Not dead. I don't know what to do to get this uh, this thing out of here. It's not supposed to be here. My ultra powerful weapon doesn't seem to penetrate its electric plating here. Oh wait, it did it! It finally worked! Oh, it took like 10 throws. No, it took more than that. Oh, but finally, get this shale here. It was diamond! It was diamond all along. This was worth it. I'm the good guy here, you guys. Think I have lead? I do, look at that, a modification station, baby. Survival knife. We can make a thermal blade with a battery? Hooks and sterilizes small organisms Organisms for immediate consumption. Let's freaking go. And then, yeah, there's the high capacity, or the ultra high capacity. Then ultra glide fins. But for now, we'll start with a thermal blade. Gladly. So I don't even need to cook my own food anymore. Oh, look at it. And listen to it. Crackling. All right, we got full health. I'm actually pretty excited. This thermal blade is now going to make it to where I don't have to do any actual cooking. Check this out. Oh my gosh. That went flying though. <laughs> be kind of careful. All right, so if we take a look at these. We can actually even get water out of these too, so if we eat enough of them. We'll end up overeating, but it'll get us enough water to have us get by. But we do have these two large filtered waters, so just go ahead and get full up on everything. There is a mesmer right there. Have I scanned a mesmer? Don't let it look me in the eyes. Aha! Dead. Mesmers are terrifying. <laughs> I remember the very first time I ever ran into one. I was so incredibly freaked out. We're heading back towards the safe shallows. What are those? Oh, there's a wreckage over here. Yeah, I think beyond, beyond making the prawn suit... Oh god, I don't like that. Don't like that. Okay, so oh, that's what's causing it. They're hitting the big guys. With their electricity. Oh man. Okay. Man, I don't like this. I mean, this area seems so deadly. That's not it. Oh wait, there's something down here though. Lightweight, lightweight, high capacity tank. Gosh, these ampules are a menace. An absolute menace. We don't need the habitat builder equipped right now. They're getting stuck in these caves that I definitely need to be able to explore. But oh, look, there's an entrance. All right. Modification station, we do have that. Oh, 
wait, what's this? A sea-based sonar antenna. 30 seconds acquired. I don't recognize that. Is that new? There's a tunnel over here as well. I just hope my Seamoth doesn't explode. Whoa. More stasis rifle? Another blueprint. Reinforced dive suit. Heavy synthetic fiber dive suit providing physical protection and enhanced survival in extreme temps. Ooh. Oh, that's huge. Oh, wow. We've found the technology mother load over here. I was just about to say the only other thing I can do besides building a prawn suit is just continue to explore, I think. No way. There's another blueprint here? Cyclops sonar upgrade. Nutrient block. And a PDA for the charter. And what is this? Light stick fragment? That's new. Could there be another light stick fragment around? I think a light stick it looked like it was just going to be sort of a freestanding light source. Ah, there's one. Here we are. Man, heck of blueprints in there. That was fantastic. All right, we have to stay the course, though. I, I need to get back to the safe shallows. Need to find that lithium. That lithium is going to come in super handy. Oh, God. Kind of using the reef back as a defense here. I messed up. I did not realize how close I was getting to the blue. Wait, what is this? Is this a different wreck? I've definitely been here, right? There were, yep, tiger plants in there. Yep, I've been here. Okay. I was just about to say, I remember some tiger plants being in there. Oh, then again, this has not been retrieved right there. Okay, I've... There's something else I need to search here for. All right, what is this? The lightweight high-capacity tank that I just picked up. Whoa. This elevator shaft. Wow. Oh, there's some stuff down here. Another battery charger fragment. The propulsion cannon fragment. I did unlock this, right? Yeah. What might you be? Vehicle upgrade console. Build in the moon pool to upgrade dock. Do I do I have a moon pool? I don't know if I do or not, but you good to have these are laser cutter, battery charger, mobile vehicle bay, battery charger. What is this? Broken hull repair nanites? I need nine of those. What in the heck? I have never seen that in my life. Broken hull repair nanites? What in the Big Hero 6 is that, though? For real. All right, let's stay the course. Lithium. We need lithium. And because I haven't collected lithium in a really long time, why don't we consult this here? Lithium, I think, is on its own. Oh, I need shale has gold, lithium, and diamond. Okay. I honestly couldn't remember which outcrops they were in. I feel like I had seen it on its own before, too. All right, I'll make a note of this. Two plasteel ingots, two aerogel... One enameled glass, two diamond, two lead. All right, we're searching for the proposed Degazi habitat once again, because I remember finding some diamond down there, which means there was shale, which means there should also be more lithium. Although I picked probably the most dangerous entrance. because the blaza is over here. I wonder if I can just avoid the blaza here.
Man, I don't like these sounds at all. There's some lithium. Okay. We need three more, I believe. I only have room for two. But we'll end up... Well, let's go ahead and eat some nutrient block. There's one lithium. And the blaza is close by, isn't it? There's some more lithium. Okay. Let's have a water. I do have four lithium. I'll need some more. Shoot, I'll actually need more lithiums for the uh, plasteel ingots, won't I? Ah, there's my fifth lithium. Okay. Also, lithium is no longer sounding like a word to me. Lithin to me for some lithium. Should we require more? Which we will. I think it'll be pretty easy to find some more. Seems abundant down here. And I believe Aerogel is a gel sack and ruby, which we've already determined ruby grows very close to... Or, well, it doesn't grow. I guess, well, does Ruby grow? Ruby occurs near Home Sweet Home. And we have some gel sacks growing on the roof of Home Sweet Home. So we should, in theory, be able to make air aerogel very easily, which is phenomenal. All right, we're going to upgrade the air tank. Ultra high capacity tank. I think is what I'm going to go with here. And how much do we get now? Are we over 200? 225? Let's go. All right. Okay. And then our fins. I have some ultra glide fins here too. Enhance the swim speed considerably. Lovely. All right. Okay, just collected some gel sacks. So we're going to make a couple rubies. Or sorry, with my rubies, I'm going to make those aerogel. I need two of them. All that I need in order to make the prawn suit now are two plasteel ingots. So I'm going to work on gathering the lithium and the titanium required for both of those. First things first is the titanium. I got to make two titanium ingots, which means I need a total of 20 titanium. I have five currently, so... I'm going to go work on that. We got our titanium uh, ingots. I need four lithium to turn those two titanium ingots into plasteel ingots and thus make the bronze suit. So uh, I'm highly motivated to get this done pretty quickly. I do need some more water, though, too. I'm not overly concerned about it, though, considering I have a thermal blade. So far, no lithium, but tons of sounds that are terrifying. I just want you guys to listen to this. be why I need a reinforced dive suit right over here. Yep. 
Yep, yep, yep. So within the jelly shroom case, there is a another little cave that I cannot yet go into. I've not found a single lithium. So I got to keep looking. Hopefully, we need four. There's one. RNG Jesus has been very unkind to me down here this trip. It's only one lithium. Uh, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six diamonds. That means four new diamond, five new gold. It has not been very kind. Ooh, that's not good. There's a lithium. Okay, we got two lithiums now. And we just need a little run of lithium here. One more lithium. And I gotta do it before they can destroy this thing. These crab snakes are coming after me. baby lithium dang it imagine being upset about finding diamond that's how dire the situation is lithium yes yes oh man i'm so excited we just gotta head back to home sweet home actually not home sweet home the safe safe shallows pod we head back to the safe shallows pod and we will have ourselves a prawn suit Hard to believe. I can't believe we're about to have a prawn suit. This is amazing. All right, we need to make our two plasteel ingots. I actually don't know that I had to do that because of the easy craft mod, but uh, I guess it's just kind of a habit. Oh, look, it's glowing. It's glowing. It is normal when first piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Limitless power. Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to make look at it. Oh, how far is it going to fall? Oh, not too bad. Okay. Oh, it floats. Wait. Does it actually float? Has a storage container? Oh, heck yeah. And then I see somewhere where there are upgrades too. Upgrades right there. Okay. Yeah, look at that. There are four upgrades and hand upgrade things. Okay, first things first. I gotta test out the storage. I'm carrying a lot of diamond and magnetite. Wow, I didn't even realize. Look how big this storage compartment is. Holy crap. I feel like that's got to be a mod, right? I'm not sure, but I'm not complaining. All right, let's get in you. Welcome to Let's Captain. get in you. Oh, it's so cool. So cool. Well, really, I guess the next thing I need to do is explore, So, The prawn suit seems to be pretty set for that. Next time on Subnautica. <laughs>